Oh, hello guys. So I feel like this needs to be made. I wanted to make you a video on this because I've never seen another video article about this because usually when you take on, you know, God spousing, you marry God, usually they stay the pretty same for all of your life. But what do you do when you marry to God and all gods have infinite aspects? You have to understand this when you marry them. Almost nobody ever does, myself included. You're like, yeah, they have infinite aspects, but this is the one I'm marrying. And, you know, I don't have to worry about these other aspects. Things change sometimes. When Ganesh came in, I noticed that, you know, Odin was ordering a lot more vegetarian and vegan food for the house. And I thought, well, maybe it's my diet. I am 45. Maybe he's, like, worried about my diet. And he's just trying to be tactful about it. Maybe he's like, I, you know, I'll just, just kind of push this over the table for Ganesh. Yeah, for Ganesh. And then I thought he was, like, a doting father, which he has been a doting father to Ganesh. He's demanded that his statue be out here again. And then I had an encounter with Oski last night, which is another name for Odin, which is the kind of Yule father loving aspect. And he just was truly, truly upset and he wanted this change. And he had taken me shopping last night and we put some vegetarian and vegan stuff in the, in the cart. And vegan, just because sometimes you can only find the vegan option, you can't find the vegetarian option. That's, that's it. So we're not going to like, full-on vegan household but um i got that you know of back there and but the thing was this was i i thought this this has to be me right this has to be me this is the former vegan guilt personifying itself as the old man got a ton of pins today got way too much stuff pointing that no this is me um, Odin has been showing up unbeknownst to me. He is the healer, the veterinarian god that shows up, the healer, the gentle one, the one that now I realize why he was going to cry. He can't, this aspect of Odin couldn't eat an animal. He would just sit there and break down and cry. And I know what that sounds like if you deal with Glad of War, you deal with one that would probably, you know, scarf down anything slightly slower than him. I understand that, though, in the lore, he only drinks wine, so he's a winetarian. I got I could say anything else too, swoosh. And um you know to to meet this aspect and to see this meant so much for him and like I know Odin. I know Odin. I knew this wasn't an act. I knew his soul was crushed and I'm I'm like I'm not crying, you're crying. He was just absolutely emotionally devastated that I wasn't gonna get this food. I'm like, Oh father, I love you, but we have enough of enough. We have vegan breakfast for like the next 30 some some days at least. We have vegan lunches for a really long time. We have little vegan snacks all around. We have vegetarian food. He seems kind of okay with fish. I think he'd be a deal with it going bloop. But, you know, he's also being realistic. He's just like, he he's okay with like a little bit of meat in my diet. But could I mostly go to this? No. You know, at first I was thinking, this is so unfair. I married this meat-eating barbarian <laughs> that was a warlord and just kind of would have probably sneered, you know, at this aspect of Odin. I mean, if you put the the aspect of Odin that I married and this aspect in the same room, and it's still Odin, it's still the, it's still the old man, to be sure, they would fight. The mean one would be picking on this one and making him cry, and this one who's a peace-loving hippie would just be, you know, absolute tears because he feels everybody's pain. And I, I, I kind of looked at him, and I said, is it that important to you? Is it really that important to you? And he said, yes. And I was super sleepy for some reason last night, which is odd for me because he usually have rampant insomnia. So tell you what, tell you what, if, if I have some kind of dream, and it helps me make sense of this. And I get up in the morning. You will get your vegan food. And vegetarian food. I said, I don't understand this. But if this is this important to you. If this is going to break your heart. You know, and this is who I am married to now. I'm fine. You know, you're my husband. I am going to do that for you. I had the most far out dream of being in a factory. Where everything was lava. <laughs> except for these like. Things that you could walk down almost like conveyor belts, and it was me, but it was not me. It was this young girl, so I don't know, like another wife or something, but 
there was like a goddess in the middle dressed up full on Corella Deville, and they had made all of these different dishes. Like one person made a turkey, and one person made like some kind of bubbling soup or something. Some person had made something else, and I'm like, wow, this was this was not a good dream. Not quite sure what that meant, but to her, it didn't matter. To her, it didn't matter, and I think it was a goddess kind of trying to show me yes to this goddess it didn't matter but she was kind of laughing not in an evil way because they they do this stuff to teach you but kind of in a ha 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 some of your spouses are going to like leave you because you know they asked you to do this one thing and you said ah do what i want you went out and you you did this thing and i think it was like her trying to help me and with the volcano i'm pretty dang sure it was pele and she was like look I think he's nuttier than a coconut, but if if he has now gone vegan or vegetarian or whatever he's doing to you, just go with it. Just go with it. Don't make him upset. He's your husband. He loves you. You love him, don't you? So I get up. I get all these crazy pins, some of which I shared with you guys, and, you know, it's just, it's clear he wants to do this. It's clear he wants to do this. Night and day difference from the god I married. I married a god that loved hunting and wearing fur and eating animals. And, you know, over the period of a couple weeks, he shifted into this different aspect where the furs are still fun because they're for sacred ritual use and it's something spiritually important. And it's okay if I still have omnivorous diet, but the more I can do vegetarian or vegan, the happier he will be. I'm not saying I even remotely understand it. I am not, because, you know, this was the god who brought me around to fur, but is now also the very same god who is, like, the vegetarian vegan. I'm like, you know what? It'll be okay. I said, I don't understand you, but I love you, and I can see this is important to you. I see this is important to you. I see you're suffering. I see you're in a lot of pain. I don't understand, but that's okay. I don't have to understand, you know? I don't have to understand. And, and we both know. If he let me off the leash, I'd, I'd, I'd hamburger fountain, bacon tree, chicken, 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 chicken. I, you, you would not be able to redeem me. But for, for the God I loved enough to marry, fine. And that can be hard. And that can be hard. I've never heard anybody talk about that. Like, what do you do when the God, you know, flips completely and they are the exact opposite of the deity you marry? Go with it the best you can. I know you might feel, you know, confused or angry or hurt because you married this, you know, you married this meat eater and now they're this vegetarian hippie pacifist and you're like, happened to you? Or you got the opposite. You married this peace-loving pacifist and now he's he's eating meat and he's he's crazy. I don't know, man. I don't know. They change. They change. I think for me, I got this idea that not only with Madam Paley, you know, wording me, hey, hey, kiddo, you know, th he is, he is trusting you. It's a, it's a trust thing. I think they, they open up and they trust you and they go, you know what? I think you can take this. I think you can meet me on this level. I'm not saying this is more enlightened or rare, just so, just so you all know. But I am saying sometimes a God changes for whatever reason a God has. And if you have married them, you know, when you did those vows, you probably vowed that you would love them no matter what. Just because it's a dietary change or they, they change something else that, you know, it's like night and day difference. It doesn't mean we get to give up on them. It doesn't mean that we, you know, we don't get to support them. I mean, he's my husband. He wants to be a vegetarian. He's going to be a vegetarian. I'm I'm really confused at this moment in time. But if that's what he and, you know, all the other Norse gods seem to be on board with it, I'm like, if you dudes want to do this, okay, but understand that I'm still going to eat meat from time to time. And, and they're on board with that, too. Loki's not saying much. Thor's just been kind of biding his time and watching. Freyr and Freyr have just kind of been watching. I don't really understand, but this is something Odin needs for me right now. He might not need it from anyone else on the planet. So everybody else must be like, she finally lost it. I just had turkey with him over the weekend. Maybe you did. I just had turkey with him over the weekend. So, you know, it's just, it, it, it came to a head last night. And I said, well, what am I going to do about the turkey and everything else? And he's like, that's fine. You can still make it occasionally, but... He wants it to be, 
be less of a diet, and I don't know if he's going to partake of that turkey or anything. I'm confused. This is new ground for me. So yeah, that felt like the video you needed. I had asked if Odin was becoming more gentle, and I heard crickets in their responses, so I was like, okay, you know, keeping your vows to your god when they change, you know, it is important, guys. It is important. They need you to be there to support them. He might not know what's going on. I think he's a little freaked out. And I'm like, you know what? Neither of us understand it. But this is who you are right now. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not losing your mind. You have just, you've, you've become this different aspect. I mean, this is brand new. I don't know. Maybe you know something I don't. We should all go vegetarian. I have no idea. But, you know, if it's what he wants, it's what he wants. And, you know, Ganesh is just kind of in the background like... Knew it. I knew it. I don't think Ganesh or anyone else talked them into it. I think, you know, I had said to the the members, I said, if he were human, I would I would swear he had been going behind my back and eating vegetarian meals for a very long time, and not telling me because he thought I'd reject him. And I'm like, I don't understand this. You're vegetarian. Fine. I have no problem. That's Odin. Odin's my sweetie. Odin can get away with it. If Loki had decided he was vegetarian, I, I would just have to wave a marshmallow peep in his face. And, he gave. and I wouldn't do it to be mean. I wouldn't do it. If he truly decided, he truly decided, I'd be like, great, more peeps for me. But I go, yay. But, you know, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I, I This aspect of Oski could run an animal, farm animal rescue sanctuary and just love all the animals um that it's still the same god that goes to war and feeds people eternal meat feast in his hall blows my mind but that's a god for you they're complicated deities so if you guys like what you see like comment subscribe and i will see you guys later bye, -bye.